Hello children, how are you? This will be your continuation of Unit 3 Force. Last class, we saw change in direction and motion. And in today's class, we are going to see effect of forces, change in speed and change in shape. Children, this will be the continuation of page number 117. First, I will read this. Force can change the speed. Force can change the speed of a body which is already in motion by providing more force on it. Ram and his brother are playing with a toy car. Ram tries to move the car towards and his brother stops it from the opposite direction to slow down the toy car. Thus, force changes the speed of an object. Children, I have taken some picture for the explanation. Look at the picture. The lady, she is riding the cycle and the man is pushing the cycle at the back. Now, what will be the speed of the cycle? Whether the cycle will go, go slowly or uh, fast? Yes, it moves fast because the cycle is already in motion, that is already in movement. And the man applies more force, obviously the speed of the cycle increases. Thus, thus we understood uh, that the force can change the speed. Okay, Children, now we are going to see that Force can stop a moving object. First, I'll read children. An object stops moving when we apply force to the opposite direction. Just uh, think and tell me whether you have played any game like football. Of course, you would have played, I think so. Now, Im imagine... The man who is standing near the net, that is, he is called a goalkeeper. And how does he stop the ball? Yes, he applies more force to stop the ball. Because the football, is, uh, that is very heavy too. The goalkeeper needs to apply more and more force to stop the ball. Next will be, force can change the shape. Now, in the picture, you can see a bit of paper. It's an object. Yes, it's an object. Now, just uh, see, I'm just lifting the paper. Now, I'm going to crush the paper. Yes, I have crushed the paper. Now, children, observe. Before the shape of the paper was, it's like a square shape. Now I just made uh, the paper to circle. That is a somewhat circle. What force I applied? Yes, I pushed. That means I crushed the paper. Now I have taken a dough. Now I'm going to apply force. Before it was in a round shape. Now I can make whatever shape I want by applying force. What force I have applied? You are right. I have applied the force called push. Now I am just uh, rolling it, stretching it. Again I am squeezing it. Whatever shape I need, I can make it. With these two examples, hope you all would have understood that force can change the shape. These two experiments you can try at your home with the help of your parents. Hope you all would have understood today's session. So what and all we saw? Yes, we saw that force can change the speed and force can change the shape of an object. Thank you children. Bye.